very hot weather and mm. people were sort of like, you know, after years of moaning, saying, oh, the weather in this country is terrible. As soon as it's like three weeks of hot sun, says, oh, my God, when's it going to rain? <laughs> people are always moaning, aren't they? Um, what are we going to do with this? Shall I, think... I do it? You want me to do it? No, you know, don't do it. Take your hand off me, Angel. <laughs> I've worked my way up in this business to get my own handle. <laughs> You know, just to know you can't do it, as a matter of fact. Um, in fact, you put me, no, I'm not putting Winner in now. <laughs> oh, no, I, can, I, can't, I can't get rid of Winner. I, I mean, who's going to... What do you like about winter? Um, <laughs> Christmas. Christmas in winter is good. Um, I suppose there's not much to like about it, really. All right, it goes in the room 101, and it goes. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at your next choice. This is something I also have personal experience of, um, illustrated by this bit of footage here. There's no smoking and no drinking for the outward bounders at this school. They are there to learn self-reliance and a capacity for facing hardship and hazards of all kinds. The day begins with this 7.30 run, and it's all right, any ice in the stream will get caught up in the chute. So, um, cross-country running, this is, mm. isn't it? Yeah. So, um, cross-country running. <laughs> it's gone. That's it. I wanted it in. Yeah. It needed to go. Yeah. OK, let's have a look at your next item. <laughs> oh, yeah, can, we, can we have it back, please? We just, uh, take a minute. <laughs> it's just hold him like this. Yeah. Um, I don't think my legs have ever been this far apart. <laughs> Oh my God, that's mud. So, so cross country running, yes. Cross country running. Well, it's um, it was never cross country because it was no. out of the school gate. You know, up to the news agents, yeah. up the high road, yeah. with all the traffic coming down. You'd stop for a fag, maybe some chips. Yeah. You know, and then uh, you know, then you'd walk back up. You know, it wasn't even cross country. I mean, it was just it was just rubbish. And I I thought it was kind of cruel to sort of teenage. Girls. Yeah. And it just seemed to be very unfair because it was, you, there's no way you could get out of it. You were I, I, I managed to sort of get out of cross country running. Did you? Yeah. Why? Well, it was a Thursday afternoon and you could do cross country running or you could do sociology. <laughs> so I did sociology O level for a year and I avoided cross country running. And, and when I sat the exam, I just wrote a load of old rubbish and I, I passed. <laughs> Got a C. <laughs> um, anyway, put your leg up there. So um, could you not pretend to leave your kit at home or something? No, or? because they'd make you do it in your uniform. You would then have to kind of go round in whatever. They'd find you some really scrubby old pair of kind of Veruca-filled Dunlops. <laughs> I mean, how, how, you know, how well did you do in, the, in these cross-country... Well, I once came 48th. <laughs> how many were running? 50, but one dropped out. Oh, right. <laughs> Um, I've actually got the certificate I was given. They gave you a certificate? Yeah. <laughs> no. Let's have a look. Have you got it there? Yeah. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. There. All right, it's, uh, it says, um, this is the certified that Jessica Stevenson came 48 <laughs> in the East Brighton Middle School's Cross Country Championship. Signed, Mr Barton. <laughs> yeah, just about. I mean, it's sort of a bit of a chawing shroud signature, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's quite old. <laughs> well, the ink was probably run out by the time he got to the bottom of yours. <laughs> Um, but do you not think that cross-country running is a good thing? You know, you're out in the open air exercising, you know, air into the lungs. I mean, obviously, of course, we should all exercise. Yeah. And when you're really young, you don't really know. But as you get to a point where you think, oh, actually, you know, I would rather be doing something else. And mm. I think you should probably be allowed to do that, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they, they do say that cross-country is character building, don't they? Uh, but the character you end up building is usually a bit of a tosspot. Um, <laughs> a bit like this lot here. This is people in the London Marathon, I think this is. Look. No, I that child's far too young to be running. <laughs> Let's have a look. Have we got another one? Now, there we are. That's the person who came 49th in your race. <laughs> so, have you ever been tempted to um, run for charity, do the London Marathon? I did a, a walk, actually. A did walk. You? A moonwalk to raise money for breast cancer. It's a long, long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, a moonwalk. So, tell me what it was. It's basically the Playtex moonwalk, and it's a, it's a, it's a walk that's organised every May to raise money for breast cancer awareness, uh -huh. and it happens at, um, you, at all, this will interest you, everyone does it in um, bras. <laughs> yeah. You, um, uh, men are allowed to come. Uh, but they have to wear... <laughs> <laughs> but they have to wear bras. You have to wear a bra. That is a lot of men I know wouldn't be put off by that. <laughs> I don't know. I think we have to get rid of this, really. It, it, it did cause you pain, didn't it? Yeah. At an impressionable it, stage in your life. Yeah. You know, it should have just, has to be a choice, doesn't it? Mm. But, you know, mm. if you want to keep it, that's okay. Mm. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm happy for it to go. 
You'd rather it went in, really, didn't yes, you? Yes, I, I would. And kind of sort of like, as they did make a sort of bold bid to go straight into Room 101 in the first place, it would be <laughs> churlish of me to keep them out, so I'd be pleased to say that uh, Cross Country Running is going into Room 101. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, we'll move on. We move on to your last choice here. What does this represent? Zoos. So what's, what, what is it about zoos you don't like? I just think that, that they're just sort of, I just think they're cruel. It's not yeah. there's anything wrong in, in kind of keeping animals in, in a sort of healthy, natural habitat mm -hmm. or observing them in a while, mm -hmm. but to keep them in a way that they're, they're, they're kept in a lot of outmoded, outdated zoos, I just think is inhumane. Well, this one's particularly cruel, putting the camels right next to the this gorilla. This is tiny, look at this. <laughs> yeah. So, do you, do you visit zoos? Do you, have you been to zoos? Yes, yeah, I have been, yeah. And I always feel the same way and always say the same thing. Oh, it's terrible. It's, look at them. They're so... And I still go, you know. You know, the rhino in London Zoo actually has worked out a way to sort of like kind of pee on people who kind of come and look at him. He backs up against the wall mm -hmm. and so it sprays up and they actually warn you not to go close to the wall because this I've is what the rhino the sign, does yeah. in London Beware Zoo. Beware the pissing rhino. <laughs> So, um, what other experiences have you had with animals in zoos? Well, I went to the zoo once with uh, my boyfriend, and mm. he thought that the gorilla was eyeing me up. <laughs> and what's the gorilla Which eyeing I you don't up? Know, uh, not as far as I could tell, but um, I don't know what that, Were whether you that says more the about. Gorilla? <laughs> Be truthful. <laughs> Just looking at him. How do you mean, Paul? Just looking at him slightly longer than you need to. <laughs> Well, I was, I, was start, I was feeling sorry for him, so yeah. he kind of, you know, maybe that was it. Maybe that was the beginning. Toying with his affections. <laughs> OK, we well, talked about experiences there in zoos, and this is what happened to uh, Leslie Judd, who was uh, on Blue Peter at the time. You obviously have to start on very easy stages with just being seen around. Yes, and um, keeping out of their way, and then eventually we can gain that trust. <laughs> <laughs> what have I got left? <laughs> That was pretty amazing, I can tell you. Well, she was sort of like putting a sort of good face in, but it's quite mm. frightening, really, isn't it? Mm. Now, apparently, you can do an impression of, from Planet of the Apes, is that right? I can, but I need more hair kind of down like that, but I can do the face. Normally, my, I've got to have hair that comes down like that, but I can do the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very it's good. It's much better with hair. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a little sort of fellow here. Let's see, little monkey little here. Monkey. Let's put him up there. Now, if I was to put, if I put zoos into Room 101, yeah. what's going to happen to all the animals that are in zoos at the moment? Well, hopefully they'd be kind of reintegrated back into the wild. Yeah, but they might not be. The hippo might have to live in Lewisham. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Lewisham. Yeah, is If you're living on a housing <laughs> estate and you're a hippo, <laughs> it's bad news. Never mind you urinating on the passengers, but he has a piss in the lift, you know about it, I tell you. <laughs> you ever shared a lift with a hippo? <laughs> you? Yes, I have. That's why I mentioned it. <laughs> what a miserable holiday that was. Um, so, I don't know, if I put zoos in, what are we going to do with all these animals? We can't, we, you know, nobody's going to sort of, they're going to send the camels back to Egypt. I think they should just be reintegrated back into some kind of wilderness, yeah. you know, and then phased out. Not animals, obviously. No, no. <laughs> no. Get rid of all animals and then zoos won't be an issue. So, so it, so Get rid of animals altogether. <laughs> Phase animals out. Get rid of them. Uh, I think it will work, actually. <laughs> I think even the most radical animal lover will have to support that. <laughs> so, um... Can I keep the monkey? No. <laughs> no, 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 they're all going to go in. Oh, but it's only a toy. <laughs> <laughs> You can keep the monkey if we don't put zoos in the room 101. Oh, well, they've got to go. I'm willing to sacrifice. OK. Going in. Say goodbye to the monkey. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jessica Stevenson. <laughs> to finish off, here's something you don't see every day of the week. So until the next time, good night. This is where we keep Sam, our baby Lull and Sumatran gorilla. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Come on.